Hey, welcome back to today's video. We're going to be talking about another TikToker. Well, this one, um, this one faked Tourette's and autism and went so far with their lie that they ended up performing at Autism's Got Talent. Obviously, this is a talent show specifically for people with autism. They've straight up admitted to lying about this, but worse is they actually lied about donating food to people that needed to eat as well as donating toys to autistic kids. This is going to be one of those videos that's very interesting and difficult to look away from. That being said, in today's episode of Exploring TikTokers. Elphaba Orion Doherty has 323,000 fo- What does that say? Solid sock found in- they have over 323,000 followers with 2.2 million likes. Now, on their official account, they usually just post uh, TikTok shorts of them performing. But here in the video with 1.2 million views... This person's name's Jack, that's Elphaba's friend. This is Elphaba. Now, if you've already drawn the comparison with their name... It's the fictional character, the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz, El Elpha Elpha Ball Throat. They've entered Autism's Got Talent, and they did, you know, they did pretty well. But the disgusting part about that is Elpha Ball, well, they don't have a formal diagnosis. They lied. Here's the bio for the show. Uh, Jack and Elphaba are both on the autism spectrum. Jack was diagnosed autistic in 2018 and is 17 years old. Elphaba is 18 and diagnosed in 2021. According to my research here, Jack actually has the diagnosis, uh, but Elphaba doesn't for sure, 100%. And there's an interesting situation where Elphaba said that Jack made them lie I, I don't believe this for a second jack told me to say i have it otherwise he would have gotten annoyed at me for autism's got talent this is going to be a trend with elphaba throughout this video you're going to see that they're constantly and consistently going to shift blame and make excuses for their own actions i wish she'd you know give me the same courtesy of not talking about me but what she said is ridiculous how could i force her to pretend to be autistic i mean I would often get confused over what she would or what what she like was, what her status was diagnosed. She did show me a letter once from Cam, so I thought she was. It's all confusing. Just for good measure, I want to show you the DM where Elphaba actually admits to this, saying, in a response to a user who said, you've literally lied about having autism, own up. They said, I own up. And for that, I am sorry. I've been told to lie about other people and to carry it on, which is true, but I chose to do it. I shouldn't self-diagnose, and I've been referred for this and waiting on an answer. It's been two years, so I'm just getting fed up of waiting. Um, you can't, you can't just get fed up of... Waiting? Alpha Ball was exposed by another TikToker named Mama Kaz, where they said this. Your mum was devastated, so she was talking to me and my moderates for a good month, right? We brought her into a we brought her into a, a, a group chat where we sat there, we know we helped her through everything, you know. She told us our struggle, your, uh, she told us her struggles with you, she told us how you've treated her, the way you manipulate her, the way you're horrible to her, the way she's actually frightened of your behaviours, right? Yeah. And we asked her, we wanted to confirm something. We asked your mother, does Elfie have a diagnosis of autism? What was her answer? And I hope this is screen recorded because I didn't want to do this. The answer was no. Yeah, the answer was no. The answer was we are trying to get her assessed for a diagnosis. There is no formal diagnosis. And like you saw previous, this was backed up in DM by Elphaba themselves. And you're going to see this several other times. You just can't get tired of waiting and just say that you have this not because autism is a neurological developmental disability with an estimated prevalence of one to two percent of the american and worldwide population the issue that's been going on with tiktok is that you have all these creators who are self-diagnosing themselves uh to find reasons as to why their life is terrible then other people get on their phones and listen to this and think wow that sounds a lot like me quit the problem with this is is that if you get on webmd and google your symptoms you'll find that a lot of things have the same symptoms for literally everything. And after a few hours of searching all over the internet, you're bound to conclude that you're in fact about to spontaneous combust. Some of these individuals out here might have it and have sneaking suspicions that they have it. I think that's okay. But to be judge and jury uh, and act as if uh, you are actually a medical professional yourself, that's not, it's not a good idea. Listen, I don't deny it. I've got Asperger's, all right? 
You don't say how autistic. I am just autistic. That's it. Yeah, no, you'd have to tell me that to know. There's no level to being autistic. It's your job. What the fucking is? Is there? This is what I'm talking about. People being judge and jury of this, acting as if uh, they're a medical professional, getting on TikTok and uh, saying all these things with some authority, and it makes these uh, younger and sometimes not younger, sometimes just very impressionable people think that they have these things. So they stated that uh, there is no, uh, there's no levels to this. There's no spectrum to this. Well, if you do, if you do Google. It literally has spectrum in the name. It's called ASD, and it's a developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. And though I do want to point out within this search result, it says people with ASD often have problems with social communications and interactions. Not everybody with social communication and social interaction issues has ASD. Sometimes you just got these people that are just trying to find excuses for their terrible behavior. And other times they want to feel unique like it's an aesthetic. And I've seen this quite a bit, unfortunately. And the TikToker here in this video that's having a conversation with Elphaba is trying to educate them on this. But Elphaba was using fake outrage to try and shut his questions down. Then he asks the big question if she was diagnosed. Spoiler alert, she lies. This is one thing, I'm just going to say this, Nick, you're drunk. You just said something really questionable. No, wait, I'm not just drunk, I'm honest. Maybe it's for a private conversation you do say that, but you don't say that on live stream because I've learned that myself. You... There's nothing wrong with being that. Absolutely. I mean, I'm autistic, so like, the fuck's the problem? Now, you can obviously see that this person is trying to make excuses to get off and talk privately so they can control the narrative of the conversation rather than be called out live like this. To a car, you don't say that to someone I mean, on live. You don't. Well, like, wait, hold on. Did you, did you get diagnosed or, like, what? I was diagnosed in 2021 by a professional. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What test did you go through, by the way? So I went through CAMS and then basically went through a referral and then basically just got asked loads of questions. I mean, it's not a bad thing, you know? He definitely does not believe her. So obviously, and of course, she lied and then goes on to apologize in another live stream saying... People within the autism community online do self-identify when they feel they are autistic. The only bad thing would be saying that you are. To say you feel you're autistic is totally fine and got autistic traits. But oh, to say it's been diagnosed, etc., and like autism's got talent and everything, kind of threw a lot of people off. So yeah, you can say to yourself that, oh, I feel like I have these symptoms. These are things that I feel like I have. And then you can take that and you can go get professional help and see what goes on from there but then to self-diagnose yourself and to say I, I definitely conclusively am a medical professional and i have this and then go on to america or autism's got talent and try to win a show and that's real sketch behavior yeah i'm sorry about that i really am i wait i mean i'm in current wait for a diagnosis so that's all i so i can wait for um but yeah i just i, I of course i feel um, a lot of messages concerned about and I, I did want to address it. But you absolutely cannot trust anything that this person says. They actually say that they have a problem with just saying whatever, whenever they want. I don't think. I, I just don't think and that's that's the problem. I just, I tend to get, um, I just say things without thinking and um, I take full accountability for, for lying. Um, Sorry, um, now, they do go in depth in another video where they're talking about how they're waiting for a diagnosis, but even the things that they say there, well, they're kind of sketchy. I don't want to label myself. I don't want to label myself. I don't want to say things. Um, and I'm sorry for, for self-diagnosing. I do really apologize for that. But people have said I've mocked it. That's not okay. I have not mocked anything. So in the same sentence, she just said that she's uh, not into labeling while she's apologizing for, you know, self-diagnosing, which is labeling. So I'm just going to point that out there. I'm just throw that out there. Take that for what you want to. You literally labeled yourself as autistic so you could participate in Autism's Got Talent. And just in case you didn't know, this is by definition mocking something. It's to make something seem laughably unreal or impossible to mimic someone or something. You are quite literally mocking these people's disorders and real things that they go through on a daily basis. And speaking of that, we're going to go ahead and transition into the fact that you fake Tourette's and the, the mocking of that. 
In this next situation, you're going to see her only tick when the other person mentions it. Tourette's. Oh, Tourette's. I've actually been referred um, to talk works for someone like that. You know, when I have my doctor's appointment for my back, I yeah. got referred them. I got referred them because I started ticking in the doctor's office, which was not fun. Accidentally. Mm. <clears throat> Shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, bless. <laughs> I can't. Sorry. This is absolutely, again, mocking a situation, a, a serious thing. I mean, look, look how bad this is. Oh, my fucking God. What God? This one comment. This is absolutely and totally embarrassing. Stop making a mockery. In this next video, you can see her actually trying to think through the process of what she's trying to do. And it's just, I don't know what she's doing. Thank you for shopping at Tesco. Now, obviously, it's a thing for people to fake these ticks and these Tourette's things. They are involuntary, and people can't control these things. And this person is making a mockery of this, and it's extremely obvious. I think Ticks and Roses did a better job at faking this, and that's not saying much. <coughs> That's how I clear my throat. Do you know what? I should do that more often. It's kind of a slay. On another occasion, she's actually talking to somebody who really does have Tourette's, and they're trying to explain to her while faking these types of things. Uh, he doesn't actually call her out on it, but it's pretty obvious that he, he, he assumes it. And he explains how faking these types of things, they're not good and how damaging they can be. The thing is, so right, something. is obviously I, you, what you've got to understand is from my perspective, right, is yeah. that for years, there's been all these comments of, like, not just me, but other people that I know that I'm close with saying that they're fake, saying that they're, like, wow. Like, you know, I when I went on my TV record, my TV show, I was told that, my, well, my neurologist got emails saying that I needed it beaten out of me with the Bible. And that's, do you know what I mean? So there's things like that that is disgusting, right? Yeah, exactly. And 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 when I see videos of, it's not just you. There is other people on here that have been called out, uh, ticks and roses and all that lot. Well, about their about their condition and um, Tourette's is life debilitating. It has limited me massively uh, to the point where you know there's days I don't go outside, and all I do is go to the gym and come home, and I don't have a life. Other than me and my turtles and my partner, that's that's really it. Do you know what I mean? Like that, because going outside is very, very, very embarrassing. I'm sorry you get to deal with that. Uh, I'm sending you nothing but good vibes. It's a terrible thing, and you have people like this that fake it. And, uh, my heart is there for you. You can see how bad it gets. I give myself black eyes. I can end myself up in hospital, and it's not just me. It's, it's like I'm on the severe end of the scale, and I'm heavily medicated. But like. <laughs> Like, you know, um, it also affects others that I know. Um, wow. So we, we you know, we've, we've got to be careful on what we tread on here. So eventually she was getting caught out so much that she started making up some pretty hardcore excuses, some really bad ones, saying that, oh, she was just acting. She was acting in certain situations, uh, saying that she was pretending to be a worker at Tesco and, and other supermarkets. All of a sudden she went, like this, and I said, what are you doing? She goes, oh, she goes, that's my Tourette's. Okay, let's go. This video has been taken out of context. This video, and that's not true what I said to Mama Cass, by the way, but 
This video has been um, taken out of context online. So I um, was doing skits and thank you for shopping at Tesco. I was doing moves and acting and stuff like that. Before they show the proof, um, I want to point out that when uh, she was lying, uh, keep in mind that she eventually did go on to apologize for lying, but when she was lying to uh, somebody that really had this, lying to their face, that was not an act, and all these other situations was not an act. This is when she's still attempting to defend herself before she eventually did come out and apologize for this. As you can see, when she tries to show evidence, it's she doesn't explain it. She holds a video up, doesn't explain the context of it or anything like that. She just wants, she, it's, it's bad. So, if you see here, I was acting nervous. I was acting nervous and, um, basically, so like, there was different moods to act, right? So I was, people were saying in the chat, I don't know if any of you remember this, like back in the flat days. One of the hypocritical things within this video in itself is the fact that she's saying that lying is bad, while also in the same video saying, that she understands that she's lied. No one can believe this. anything this person says. Now, I'm not saying I'm a perfect person. I have lied about things. But to say that I've mocked and done things like that is totally unacceptable. So this is an individual who says that lying is bad, who's a self-admitted liar. They also say they haven't mocked, but have mocked by definition. Why, why are you doing it? Oh, no, let me say this. So basically, I went to a GP, right? And I... I'm not talking about autism, by the way. Um, no. Okay. No, this... Yeah, no, of course, of course. Absolutely understand. Um, so sometimes I, I I have anxiety, right? So I'm diagnosed with anxiety. I want you guys to keep in mind that when they're caught, they instantly submit. They lower their head. They 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 apologize for lying and they admit to lying. And this is a trend that they just keep doing. They have no remorse about their lies, and they think that they can just uh, apologize. And well, that's okay. Well, as this video progresses, it's gonna get worse. It, I know that seems impossible, but I do think that you really do need to reconsider the things that you share and the things that you say because you are actually hurting a whole community of people in various ways and time and time you, again you're apologizing for stuff and you're not meaning what you're saying now i've seen you on and off my for you page for quite some time and i steer clear of all the drama but now you've directly impacted my child who suffers with this disability it's not a fashion sta statement Elfa. No. it's not no it's not it's not it's not i'm really sorry of course and if I am. you've if you've genuinely got ticks then fine i am the first person who will be there to support somebody ask anybody but i'm telling you now if you're lying about it and you're faking it that is absolutely disgusting. No, I'm not lying about it. I, just, I can I can show you proof. I promise. I, d I don't I don't need your proof and I don't need your promises because they don't mean anything to me. But you okay. just need to. I like her. <laughs> I, I like her. So th you heard this person saying with their whole chest that oh I, I'm not lying. I swear I have all the evidence and not. Well, here's them admitting finally that they are in fact lying. It was wrong of me to say I had to act. That was wrong. I'm very sorry for that because you know I I tend to say things without thinking, and that is the thing I need to stop. So that's why I've got p bullet points in front of me because this is helping me kind of stay on track. Um, I was never mocking it though. I would never mock that. I know how hard it is. And I can't imagine people with Tourette's, um, who are going through such a hard time right now. You know, that, that must fucking suck, man. You know, and you are so valid and beautiful. And I'm, and I, I really generally mean that seriously. I was, I was told this. I'm so sorry. I can show you my, um, oh my God, I cannot believe this person. What? So interestingly enough, in each of these situations, she does the same thing. She lowers her head, she acts sad, plays the victim, gets, uh, says sorry, 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 but that never actually stops her from lying more and hurting others. In one situation, somebody points out that she does this. I believe this is Mama Cass. She said to me with her own words, if I go on live, she goes, listen, they've tried to cancel me so many times for fucking sh for shit that I've done wrong, yeah? I know if I go on there, sing a little bit, um, 
cry also tell people that continuously say sorry and blame things on myself and apologize for things they'll flood my chat with love and i can get out of any situation now i actually do believe this because of what i'm going to show you a little bit later in this video where Elphaba goes full mask off and this is a new uh video that just came out and i grabbed it uh before somebody took it down you're not going to believe this bear with me we have a couple more things to go through I wanted to show you a video where Elphaba goes through a whole list of these just things that she believes that she has or wants to have or wants to have any reason for the the things that she she wants to have an excuse for the things that she does wrong. When honestly, from what I can tell, it just looks like she's a chronic liar. Is that a disorder? Anxiety, obviously. And depression. Depression. PTSD. IBS. Potential FASD. Learning difficulties, IBS, anxiety, depression, autism. Thank you for the confetti. Social skills, social anxiety, health, all the anxiety you can think of. I have social, I have general, I have health, me worrying about my mum, if she dies or something. I'm fucked up. I don't want to wash, sometimes I don't want to wash. Dot dot dot. I have a friend. Oh. Sorry, I'm really bad at English. You're probably not going to be also surprised that she lied about donating to a food charity. Oh, okay, so people ask about the food donation with the little stuff. Okay, let me say this. I've got to admit, and this is wrong on my part, I didn't, and I lied to you, and I'm sorry, but I want to say this because my mum said this to me, right? She said this to me. She said, you know, we all forget things and we all forget to do things. And I thought saying £100 was enough, you know, I thought that was enough. But, you know, obviously I promised something on live stream and I'm not used to having a platform. And I was like, shit, okay, right. So I will, a million percent, and I'll do it on live stream this time. And we will go out and I'll do it on live stream as an apology. Um, and I do apologize for that. That was a wrong on my part. That was wrong, a million percent. And I take accountability for that. Uh, doesn't make a difference if you're not learning your lesson and taking that lesson with you to become a better you in the future. If you're repetitively doing something wrong, you cannot use uh, taking accountability as a, a, a method to push things under the rug for Lord's sake. But it gets even worse. It gets even worse. So she, let me just show you. On the 10th of January, Steam Cafe was promised sensory fidget toys for people who have autism, ADHD, ASD, and depression by a TikTok creator, but they never arrived. On January 10th, Steam Cafe said, do I need to send you my address? I'm confused because you said, and I've already told our mentally ill and autistic clients about your generosity, to which Elphaba says, yes, I will do it today. Send the address, please. They send the address. She says, my pleasure, I'm gonna hop in the shower and head out and do it. They say, thank you so much. Could I also request a couple of cheap soft ones as well as those with sensory needs, like stretchy things? No worries if not. She says, yeah, sure, I'll go to the works. They got really good things there. They replied, they do with heart emojis to which she said, mentioned you on my story. January 18th through the 20th, they said, hey, lovely, sorry to be a pain but do you know when I should expect the packages? As I'm on holiday for a few days soon, so I need to ask my colleagues to look out for it. Elphaba says, oh my God, I found you. Thank you. You were buried in my DMs. I'm gonna follow you so I don't lose you. My extreme apologies. I'll send them out tomorrow as I found your address finally. February 2nd to the 18th. They replied, thank you so much, sweetheart. You're the best. She says, my pleasure. They say, can't wait to show everyone. Hey lovely, I've come back from holiday and nothing has arrived yet. She said, I haven't sent them out yet as I haven't had time to. I will send them this weekend on first class. February 18th. Hey, I'm sorry for the hold up. I'm going through a lot right now with shows and everything getting kicked out pretty much and a lot of stuff. So I'm sorry for not sending them out yet. I will when I can. I so hope. March 12th. When will you be sending the gifts for the autistic kids? I totally forgot about this. I'm so sorry. What kind of toys do they need? To help stimulating? They said any fidget toys would be good. She says spinners, etc. How many do you need? As I don't want to send too small. Honestly, as many as you can. They would be so, so grateful. Of course, I'll head to the works when I can and send those off as soon as. Thank you so much. The kids and adults at Steam Cafe Kings Lynn were told sensory toys were being sent to them and they were excited, but nothing arrived from the 10th 
of January up until the 14th of March. So that's not even what makes this the worst thing, is that this just came out today where uh, Elphaba, Elphaba I, I keep I'm gonna I keep messing up that name, but they went full mask off, and they do not care at all. Check this out. Honestly, I'm not coming up with an excuse. I f lied. I did. So what? I had a life. I had a f life. My f house was a right tip. It's like a circle. It's now. It's like now. It's me. And now it's you know. Um. Why are you getting cats on cruise? Because I didn't donate to um. I didn't. I didn't donate fidget toys, and I lied. I lied because I had a life. I said. I. I said sorry. I will. I. It's not that. It really is not that deep. It's not that deep. They're repetitively saying it's not that deep. It's not that deep. This demonstrates their selfishness. It's not that deep to them because they do not care about anyone else. Besides them, they've proven themselves to be a narcissist. And, you know, that's definitely something they should self-diagnose. It's not that deep. It really f that deep. People deep it so f hard on TikTok. It's annoying. They, like, make it seem like a f movie. Like, oh, my God. She's so horrible. Oh, my God. F off. Oh, my God. Absolutely. You need a f Ow. I don't give a flying f about things. I care about me. Because this is the truth in this world. Every man for themselves and every girl for themselves self care first bitch and that's a million percent selfish girl oh i'm selfish but that's the best way to be because if you're selfless to people you get shit back and that's the truth it's how the world works it's true if you're too kind to people people will take advantage of you i can't listen to any more of that i'm gonna go ahead and give you i'm gonna put you on i'm gonna tell you something listen yeah the world the world's a messed up place and it's very difficult it's it's not an easy thing however if you can help people you are supposed to help people it's it's good to do that it it makes you feel good it makes everybody around you feel good and you got to do this stuff and understand that some people they're going to do you wrong they're going to do you dirty that's why you got to make good boundaries healthy boundaries protect you from unwanted behavior i know a lot of us struggle with boundaries i'll put you onto a book uh this is not a promotion this is a book that i read it's called um it's by henry cloud it's called necessary endings by henry cloud you can get it on audio or whatever you feel comfortable doing but um it helps you it helped me uh, create boundaries but the thing about it is is you got to do things and expect nothing in return understand that some people aren't going to do right by you but just because some people don't do right by you doesn't mean that every person is going to do bad things to you that's something that needs to understand have your boundaries have your safe boundaries to protect yourself but understand that it is a an illogical error to base how you how to base your opinion off a few bad examples a few bad examples and say that there's there are billions of people in the world billions of people and if 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 even 10 or 15 throughout your life do terrible things to you that does, there's so many more people in the world and i know that you've had good people do good things for you so we do good things not because we expect things in return in a selfish way we do good things because it makes us feel good it makes our environment better it releases a good slow release of dopamine to the brain um it's just good. People like this are bad. Bad, bad, bad. Don't go harass this person at all. That's not what we do here. Uh, put some uh, positivity turtles in the chat. And uh, as interesting as this is, there's always something more interesting to me. That's right. You guessed it. I want to know what you think. So just go ahead and leave your creative and interesting response in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes as always, brothers and sisters. I will see you in the next video. I want to thank you to my patrons for your continued and ongoing support. If you too want to be uh, supportive of this channel and it's feel, you know it feels like something that you want to do, um, I really like doing the Patreon. I'm trying to go full time back on it. Uh, it's going to be linked in the pinned comment, so check it out. I think we're around uh, 50 patrons. I'm trying to get to 60. I do live streams over there. And additionally, if that's not something for you, I'm fixing to start doing morning live streams for channel members. So you can join the channel. There's a join button right there. And I'm going to be doing live streams there every morning. It's going to be awesome. Also, the charity. If you've donated the charity to the right on desktop below on mobile, we're doing things. You know I like to raise money for people. We're about to meet that goal. Let's meet it right now. Let's do it. We're less than $100 away. We're helping children in difficult situations. 
we need to do that we can do that i love you you're looking really good today uh and that's just to make sure that you're repping if you're open your gag and how you do that i go to subscribe notifications turned on be in the comment section for every single video because i'm gonna be there greg the cat's gonna be there in spirit and the rest of the reptile community as well and i expect there too because this channel loves you and here's a saying that i wanted to say um it's say it with me say it in the chat below say it in your head every night say i'm feeling good i'm looking good i'm doing good i'm feeling good i'm looking good i'm doing good i want to see it peace out